Hi, I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats in downtown Toronto. I'm here with writer director Kyle Thomas from The Valley Below. How does it feel to have your feature film at TIFF 2014? Uh, well, I'm very excited about our premiere tomorrow. It's wonderful to be here and yeah, just to have all of this hard work that everyone's put into it, you know, the cast, the crew, all of our years of making shorts to, to kind of com come to this, this climax here at TIFF is I couldn't really ask for anything more. And you have a very cool train set in this film, which s models the world, the east or the west coast, the prairies. Yeah. Um, where is this train set from? Is that your own personal, uh, you know, little thing that you do? No, oh. it's not. No, that was actually that was that was built by our art department. Wow. Yeah, in like two days. Oh my god. No, I shouldn't say that. They were running behind. That's okay. They're the best though. It was, yeah, it was incredible. And when they dropped this off, we were like, wow, very cool. So that's something to look forward to seeing in the movie for sure. Yeah. And in the film, you deal with a lot of very intense um, issues, marital issues, substance abuse. So is this an accurate portrayal of what's going on in the prairies? Yeah, everyone is getting divorced and drunk. No. <laughs> um... Uh, well, uh, y y yes and no. I, 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 People have struggles everywhere. I, mean, I, I think that's yeah. just it. it th this is, um, I just told, I chose to tell that aspect of, of people's lives, like sort of the, the more somber times and the times of struggle, the times of stagnancy, mm. um, you know, when we're forced into change or forced um, to, 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 or to make a change possibly in, in your life. And the, I think everyone has been there mm -hmm. where you have to make a decision that, that is an emotional decision. And I think all of these characters in, in the film are at a point where they have to make an emotional decision. So I don't think this is, de I, I think this could really be anywhere to a certain extent, mm -hmm. but you know, it is specific to Drumheller just because of the landscape and that plays a character as well, so. Absolutely, and speaking of the landscape, it's beautiful. Uh, how did you choose your specific locations and, you know, what did those locations mean to you personally? Well, I've had a, a long relationship with Drumheller. Uh, I've shot all of my shorts there, so over the years we've developed relationships with local businesses, people there that are just supportive of our, our work and so when it came time to do the feature and I knew I was going to set it there, um, it's just it's such a great place to, to, to shoot not only because it's beautiful but because everybody welcomes us with open arms. Absolutely. And where is that big Jesus on the hill? Um, is that like literally in the middle of nowhere or is it close to something? It's really hard to get to, Wow! but uh, it kind of overlooks the town. Uh, yeah. It's not it's not too far away. When, when you're actually up there, you can look right down uh, onto the town. So, but it is, I think it's on private property. So we had to contact some people and it was a long hike with uh, with the camera and everyone getting up there and, and mm -hmm. trying to find the best route. And if it rained, we wouldn't have been able to make it up there because sedimentary rock. So everything, you know, you would have just washed out. We wouldn't have been able to walk up. So. Wow. We were lucky. That Jesus was what cued me in the train set that it was the same place. So great job to the art department. Yeah. And um, tell me a little bit about how you worked with the actors, because there are very challenging scenes in this film, very emotional scenes. I think the biggest thing um, for me and for us at North Country Cinema uh, is creating an environment that is relaxed, that's fun, and that is conducive to creativity um, so if you have this environment and you're working with like-minded people and everyone's on the same page then performance is able to shine mm -hmm. uh, under those circumstances where you know it can be really tough I think for actors when it's like okay oh, so, so many things are happening and then and then quick 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 okay okay, okay we gotta shoot this now get in the moment get in the moment and uh, yeah so <laughs> Yeah, there's always going to be those moments on film sets, but we try and make sure that we are having fun and that everybody feels like they are an equal part of, of making this project and 
that's one of the ways that I think performance was able to to shine plus all the actors are really talented so that helps yeah. <laughs> and what's next for you uh, so I am I'm developing a few things right now writing but right now I'm taking off the director's hat and um, within our collective we're making another uh, feature film starting October we're shooting um, directed by Alexander Carson called Oh Brazen Age so I'll be producing and acting in that one Ooh. for uh, for that and yeah that's that's going to be next out of the gate and that's how we operate with the collective is that we can all we're all writer directors and we can all share different roles and produce each other's work and and have a body of work that we're really proud of and where's the best place for us to find out more information on the valley below and on your film collective as well online so the the valley below.ca is our website for the film and northcountrycinema.com is where you can find all the information on uh, what we're doing as a collective. Great. Thank you so much. Congratulations and have a great TIFF. Awesome. Thanks a lot. Thank you. I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats in downtown Toronto. Mm -hmm.